What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I am your host, Dre the Brute Danes, and welcome to another episode of Brutal Rant. So today, God, you've seen the thumbnail. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to be talking about Young Justice Phantoms, a.k.a. Young Justice Season 4, and we're going to be talking about the first four episodes. Uh, oh, oh, okay, let's just, full disclaimer, I used to be a huge fan of this franchise uh, when it first came out. Young Justice Season 1, and heck, I'll even throw Season 2 in there too, as well. In my opinion, this had terrific storytelling, terrific character development, excellent action sequences, emotional connections. This show, to me, was on par with OG Justice League. In my personal opinion, this show was that phenomenal. First season dropped us into, dropped, well, reintroduced us to those that weren't familiar, to all these sidekicks and them trying to go out on their own and then doing all this espionage and secrecy and, and underground missions. Then we got the villains doing all types of dastardly things just as an illusion. Like, all these characters worked, the action worked, the story was great, it was tremendous fun. Invasion then adds on to this by going into the um, of the aftermath of the effects of season one when it's revealed of, of um, Speedy being the mole and and, uh, and, and all the, the consequences. The invasion was all about consequences about the uh, based on the first season and it was tremendous, it was great. I loved I loved these first two seasons. They were some of the best, some of the best TV that I'd watched in years up to that point. And when it ended in season two, um, abruptly I may add, because I think it got canceled or whatever the case may be, I was wanting more. I was really wanting more. <sighs> then Outsiders came out. And my god, Outsiders was hot trash from top to bottom. Bad storytelling, the new characters didn't make any sense, way too much focus on identity politics and all that other PSAs, a couple episodes were straight up PSAs, no, 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 everything that made the show great, they pretty much removed it, but this is what I will say, like, when there was action happening, I was actually, I don't want to say invested, that's not the right word, I was enjoying when there was action sequences and explosions and stuff like that because like once again the animation is still phenomenal But I think a lot of these characters got dealt a really strong disservice But I wasn't bored That's one thing I can say I wasn't for, for young Justice season three outsiders. I was not bored with it <sighs> Invasion is Boring! Boring! God, I, so I'm gonna talk about these first four episodes, but bear with me, this is not gonna be a good time. So, we start off with with uh, Superboy and Miss Martian. We start this whole season off with a side quest. The leaving Earth and the going to Mars for the Martian ritual for marriage and all this stuff so off the jump i'm already taken out of it because all the stuff that's supposed to be happening that matters isn't even going to get started so i'm already taken out so we have them going to mars and those that know the comics knows that martians have uh, call it, it is it's racism on mars the greens don't like the whites and the whites don't like the greens and the reds martians think that everybody's under them because they're royalty there, there, there's an image for you just so you can get a visual but we like those that are unaware with uh, unaware of it will be like okay they're racist. But the whole daggone sh fourth episode is all about the racism of Mars. I'm like, bruh, dog, we don't need to focus on that. Let's talk about superheroing. Ain't no superheroing stuff happening. So they're on Mars and they're seeing discrimination and and nobody likes her, Miss Martian, because she's really a white Martian and blah 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 blah. blah. So uh, whatever. So that's happening. So racism, racism, racism. So we get to see Miss Martian and her sister interact with each other. And her sister is like, why'd you hide being who you are as a white Martian and freaky and alien looking? And then Miss Martian's like, I identify as 
this humanoid looking Martian white alien thing. It just it's all nonsense. I'm like, yo, nothing has happened. So while they're arguing or whatever the case may be, they're trying to create um, pretty much a uh, um, a teleporter between Mars and Earth so that they can have, you know, closer connections and yada, 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 yada. Boo, boring, nothing. So, so while they're fixing it or creating it, they test it with Martian Manhunter and then some unknown laser beam comes out of nowhere and then destroys it. And they're like, oh my God, Martian Manhunter's dead. And everybody in their grandmama knows he's not dead. And so he's on the other side, like, yeah, I made it. Terrific, who tried to kill me? No one knows, nobody cares. Whatever, moving on. Nobody cares. <sighs> Stupid. W whatever, so while that's happening, we have a side quest with Saturn Girl and the Legion of Superheroes from the future. They're trying to stop something from happening before it happens. They don't talk about it. They don't get into it. So we as the audience don't care that we... <sighs> You came here to die. <laughs> Whatever, man. I I don't know why they're even here. They didn't even allude to it. They did. They're just there, and then they're like, they're like not supposed to be interfering until the right time comes to interfere. And they're trying to do cloak and dagger. It's just so stupid. It's just stupid, man. So a minx. Uh, 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 whatever, man. Stupid. Just stupid. Like, like, so they're there for some reason. Who knows? There's racism happening because, you know, that's what all of our episodes have to be about is some type of social problem. But there's no superheroing. There's no action sequences. There's no fighting. There's no nothing. There's not even in depth conversation. So, what I'm, whatever. Let's just move on. I don't. What they did to Beast Boy in this in this season so far, and this is the first four episodes, is a complete, complete waste. So basically, he's butt hurt because he couldn't save Breon from turning to the dark side at the end of episode three. He gets mind blasted by some of the Martians, and now he has PTSD because of Breon betraying them. <sighs> and he goes crazy like twice and. Dog, this is stupid. I mean, man. So he's trying to. He's not supposed to be here anyway, but whatever. He's here for the wedding. This is dumb. I, like, so while that's happening, uh, Superboy and and Miss Martian are still trying to plan their wedding and blah 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 blah. But in the mix of this, apparently there was an assassination of the King of Mars. And the prince enlists the out the the, the Superboy and uh, oh my God, my brain's frying. Superboy and uh, oh my God, Beast Boy to try to find the killer. Long story short, the the killer was um, a lady that 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 became a priestess because she was in love with the king's son, but she accidentally murders him. Because he, she asked for the blessing to be in love, but since she's not the right color, he hates the fact that they were being love. And then she loses control of her powers and murders him, which doesn't connect to anything else in regards to, to like what happened with the destruction of the teleporter. Like all of this is just a side quest within a side quest within a side quest, and nothing is happening. Nothing interesting. It. I was so bored out my mind it, it was i'm like i'm like somebody do somebody shoot somebody i mean like anything anything nothing and nothing connected with each other it's just nonsense pure trash from top to bottom and i'm not even done talking about this i haven't gotten to the wax stuff yet i haven't even gotten to the wax stuff let's talk about my man malafa ak ruined they ruined him malafa ak is being labeled as some domestic terrorist and then he gets framed for destroying the the teleporting device when he had nothing to do with it but he was hiding there and then he gets sent back to his hattie hole and he's in league with um I, I i guess apocalypse and they're giving him tech to destroy the green no yeah the green martians and the red martians to fuel the racism and let the white martians be supreme this is so stupid 
<sighs> but remember this scene. It will be important later. So you see he's getting the bomb there. Yeah, the bomb to kill off all the greens and the red Martians and yada, 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 and let the white Martians rule the world and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, one of that's symbolism for something. Huh, yuck. So that's all Malfaak is. He's, he's just some domestic terrorist and it's a waste. They ruined him. He's a really great villain. They ruined him. They wasted him. The show freaking sucks. <sighs> Moving on. The bio ship. Here we go. Let's talk about this bio ship nonsense. For those who are familiar with the show, there's a ship that flies around that Miss Martian controls, and they have a symbiotic relationship. And throughout this show, it's like been able to travel. They, they use intergalactic travel with it. It can transform into stuff. It's really cool tool. And forever in this show, it's been used as a tool. In this season, that joint is full on sentient. That joint can fly whenever it feels like it. That joint can just go and have dinner with somebody. It's just its own character, which it has never been like that. It always was an interlinking connection between the ship and Miss Marsha because they had melded or bonded. This joint is its own person. That joint can fly around and talk to people now in ship language. It's freaking crazy. Now, I know it communicated in in previous seasons when they're on the ship and whatever it can feel but it wasn't it was like it was like supposed to be like kit from knight rider you know what i'm saying this joint is a full-on character so let me break something down to you so as you see this isn't its regular form it looks like a little egg or whatever because it mm. so in the middle of i guess season episode two the ship just flies off and it's like oh bye guys and it flies off to go and meet all of his other ship buddies they all meld into some type of primordial goo and they engage in some kind of reproductive ritual. Ships are making babies. So it, like it turns into like soup. And then I I kid you not, the joint has a baby. A spaceship has a baby. Say what? After it engages in what I can only equate to a spaceship orgy, a baby, a baby ship literally comes out and there it is. A baby ship comes out and then the baby ship and bio ship go find McGann and Superboy and like, hey, this is my baby. Oh, God. That joint shows up with a baby and says, hey, I'm going to go ahead and retire from flying y'all around, but my baby is going to take care of y'all now. I can't make this up, bro. I can't make this up. Who's writing this garbage? I'm not this good. I promise you. God. <laughs> So stupid! This is a this is an abomination. This is an abomination from top to bottom. So pretty much nothing has happened in three and a half episodes. Four. Three, well, we'll get to that. Three and a half episodes. Nothing of value has happened. No mysteries being solved. No action sequences. Nothing. Just people talking about their feelings and who they are on the inside and racism. There's just nothing happening. And then, out of nowhere, and I do mean out of nowhere, Galva, uh, uh, the bomb is planted by Malva Ock to kill off all the other races of Martians. And, you know, they, they stop it or whatever, but Superboy hasn't been exposed to yellow sunlight in a long time because he's been underground and doing all these real, these really strange martian rituals for marriage for no reason because they didn't get ah, man this is supposed to be a crime happening and they're over there like oh we're gonna plan our wedding still what the what jesus <sighs> nothing happens in this show nothing happened in, until the very end and then superboy who's 
weaken because it doesn't have enough sun takes the the bomb and throws it into the i guess a molten lava thing that's in god my head hurts the molten lava thing in in mars it explodes and it's laced with kryptonite of course it is and it kills him Superboy's dead one of the mo one of the best developed characters in this show my personally favorite character dies for no reason Four hours, excuse me, four episodes of nothing. Equivalent to about an hour and 45 minutes. So let's just say a movie was an hour and 45 minutes and nothing happened. That's exactly what I was tortured and went through. An hour and 45 minutes of absolute schlock. I hate this show. This was once one of my favorite shows of all time. Animated shows. One of my favorite animated shows of all time. Has been reduced to trash. Why do I torture myself? Why am I doing this? I gotta make better life decisions. Anyway, so that's the synopsis of those four those four episodes. Those episodes are terrible. I I I I can't talk anymore. I'm 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 done. I'm done. I'm done. If you all have checked out the new Young Justice season four, tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I'm I'm freaking beat, bro. I'm freaking beat. The show is garbage. What have they done, man? God. Well, I hope you like the vid and me having a brain aneurysm publicly. I know this video's gone a little long, a lot longer than my usual ones, but God, this don't hurt my soul so, so very much. <sighs> but anyway, follow me on all my dope social media platforms that you see over there. Namely on Twitter, I'm trying to raise my Twitter following up. So um, if you follow me on Twitter, I really would appreciate it, at Debrute00. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. Um... Don't watch this show. <laughs> That's what I got to say. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch you all next time. Also, if you want to support my channel, uh, check out spinwiz.com or download the Spinwiz app and check out my comic series, Trouble. It was written with a lot of love and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write. I've also written it in English and in Spanish. So whatever floats your boat, I got it for you. Thanks again. Check it out.